Dear friend, I write to tell you that I've made an incredible scientific breakthrough. Its nature is, however, too sensitive to explain in detail. There are those out there who would leap at the chance to steal my research. Nevertheless, I would like to extend an invitation to my summer home on the lake, where we can discuss this further. The sooner you can come, the better. Dr. Tavington. Wow, there we go. <laughs> Hello everybody, I'm in the Little Wood, also known as Martin, and welcome to the Temporal Adventures of Dr. Tavington. <laughs> I defo chose this map purely because of the name, and we're just going to get straight into it today. Why well, are we going across this bridge as well? Look at that. Mine can't keep! Ah! <laughs> it's so cool. You know, last night I was complaining that I didn't have one, and now that I have it, I don't want it on. Is that weird? It's because I've got this new skin, look. I've got my Halloween skin, the red eyes, the green hair, you know, the black shirt and everything. I kind of like it. It took me a while and now it's just been hidden and covered up by everything. There we go, let's close the doors. So, this must be Dr. Tavington's summer home. Uh, what's... Uh, aha! There we go. Uh, read note one. Okay. Friend! I apologise. I could hardly contain myself. I could not wait any longer. I cannot describe my work here either, I'm afraid. My work is too sensitive to leave the information regarding it in a note lying on my desk. Search my home for a wall with two small paintings. Remove the one on the left and then remove the wall behind it. You will find a lever opening the door to my laboratory. I hope to see you soon, friend. I will explain all soon enough. Dr. Tavington. Okay then, so we've got to go find two paintings. Oh. That was easy. Okay, is this house any bigger than that, or is it just like a little bungalow? Yeah, I was going to say it had a couple of floors. Here we go. Um, that is nothing. That's is that a to <laughs> is this the bathroom? Okay, how do wait? Is that the so this is the bath? Now I can't work out if that's supposed to be the shower head or a faucet. Hmm. Okay, whatever. Uh, right, I'm gonna close that up. Close up the toilet. Close the door behind me because I have manners. Upstairs, plenty of saplings, of course. Saplings own. Um, oh, there might be more paintings up here. Ah, I see there's two paintings, so maybe it's... Okay, maybe it's neither of those. <laughs> that's fine. Oh, God, let me put it back. Because if he comes back, he's going to... Whoa, that's a big picture. No, he's going to notice the difference. Put the right one down. Why is it giving me, like, every one bar the one I want? Quick, quick. Oh, God. There we, there we go. Okay, we're good. There, there, look at that. He'll never know. He'll never know. Uh, there's a bed in here. No secrets. There's always secrets in these maps, so I always keep an eye out for them, like little ledges or switches or buttons that I can press. No, nothing here. Uh, oh, it's like a little watchtower. Let's have a little wander up here. What we got? Got... Oh, God, that's a lot of books. That's a lot of books. And that's a lot of books. Um, now, did they actually spell anything out? Just in case I have to remember this later on. No, it doesn't appear that way. I'll tell you what, I'm going to take all the books... Just because I can. And in case I get stuck later on, I can craft myself a couple of bookcases, I think. Oh, no, I don't have a crafting match, do I? Oh, never mind. Right, let's just take the books and go. Right, I think it's going to be those two small paintings that we saw downstairs then. So, let's have a little wander down there. We've already checked that room. That room had nada. This room has nada neither. And that looks like everything. So, I'm assuming if we go down here, we will find the lever. Wrong one. Oh no, he said we had to break a block, didn't he? Aha! Do -do 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 -do. Oh. Ah! Oh, that was an eerie sound. <laughs> that was very well timed. There we go. So that's opened that up just down there. Whoa! God, there's a lot of skeletons down there. Jesus. Oh my god. Okay. Um, What do I do? Do I just make a run for the portal? Uh, I'm just going to. Yeah, let's go for it. Let's just run for the portal. Ignore the skeletons. Ah, come here! Critical hit your ass, son. You're done. Right, come here. Or we can get left and versus right going. There we go. He's hit him. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I can't see anything. Let me put the brightness up. Unless it's already all the way up. No, it can go higher. There we are. Okay, hold on. Wait. Stand still. Are they fighting? Oh, yeah. Lefty versus righty. <laughs> Leave it in the comment section below who's going to win. Whichever one dies is the loser, whichever one is still alive is the winner, and it all depends on which side of the screen they are at the end when somebody actually goes down, rather than when uh, they begin and you don't have to follow them around in a circle. Come on. Hey, Righty wins! And now he's probably going to kill me, I'm just going to stab him in the face with an arrow. Yeah, it's ironic isn't it? There we go. Oh god, have I just... Oh god, I've broken his time machine. I think it's a time machine, <laughs> it looks very Back to the Future-esque. Uh, oh. 
Oh god, maybe I shouldn't touch that. There we go. Uh, read note number two. Okay. Friend! If you are reading this, you have arrived safely and found my laboratory. Feel free to read my journal and, if you would like, to follow me through. I've left you some weapons in case you run into any sort of danger. I hope to see you soon. Dr. Tavington. Right, so you didn't think to leave the swords upstairs, did you, Dr. Tavington? <laughs> nope, I didn't think you would need them till you got down here. Yeah, whatever. Right, so in here, what we got? Two swords, and he's got a journal as well, so let's have a little listen to that. April 15th. The wormhole collapsed again today before I could completely stabilise it. The reinforced iron frame held it together longer than before, but it's still not enough. I may have to consider a new material. April 17th. I found it! It seems the obsidian is strong enough to support the wormhole. Preliminary tests have shown that the wormhole is too small for human entry. However, small objects can pass through, but nothing very large. For now, however, I will be performing some tests to see if it's dangerous. April 18th. After passing multiple inanimate objects through the wormhole, I decided to try send a remote control helicopter through. Unfortunately, the signal died as soon as it went through, and I was unable to retrieve it. The readings I've gathered, however, seem to indicate that it would be safe for humans to enter. I will attempt to make the obsidian frame large enough for a human to enter. April 21st. I finished. The wormhole is stable and large enough to enter. I've invited a friend to come and see this magnificent discovery, but I do not think I can wait. I have gathered ample supplies, and I will shortly attempt to enter. I tried to determine when the wormhole will put me, but there is no way to do so. It could be the future or the past. There is only one way to find out. I will leave my journal here in case I cannot return. Here goes nothing. April 21st B. It worked! I can hardly believe it, but it worked! The wormhole sent me to a time that I can only surmise to be the distant past. All the objects I sent through were lying on the ground on the other side, undamaged. I arrived near an abandoned hut, dug into the side of a hill. I've decided to use it as a base of operations before I explore this strange but familiar world. In the distance is a large ancient wall. Perhaps there are people on the other side? There are so many questions I have. Right, so he's gone through the portal, and I don't think flicking any of these switches or pressing any buttons is going to set any TNT off. Because Obsidian doesn't break it anyway, does it? No, I don't think it does. It's fine. Right, let's go through. To adventure! And are we in the never? Oh, aha, there we go. Brilliant. Uh, time travel instructions. Use minecarts on tracks ahead to reach the end of the wormhole. Exit through the other side to complete your journey through time. Good luck. Right, so we're, are we currently in a wormhole? That's kind of cool. I like that. Let me go up here. What is all that hissing sound about? Oh my god, what's going on here? The hell, I can hear pigmen and all sorts. Right, I'm just going to sit on there. Push button! Here we go! Right, up we go. So, we're going through the wormhole and that will take us to... Re really? Really? Did we really need that to... Oh my god, that's such a waste. <laughs> oh my god, right, through the portal again. We didn't really need to go on a minecart just for that very small journey. That was all of about seven steps, wasn't it? <laughs> Up the staircase. Right, so this is the other end of the wormhole. Here we go. I will name this place Aldabar. There we go, we've named this world Aldabar, apparently. Read note three, okay. Dear friend, if you are reading this, then you have followed me through the wormhole. It is extraordinary, is it not? As you can surely see, I am not here. My curiosity has gotten the better of me. After a few forays in the surrounding land, I decided to venture through the gates of the wall. It is an old wall. Very old. It is strange. I'm quite familiar with the local history, but I have not heard of any such wall near here. It looks like it could be of Roman origin, but I am unsure. And again, I have no knowledge of such a wall built by the Romans. Except for Hadrian's Wall, which is miles to the north. And it was certainly not this big. Regardless, I've passed through the wall to find a small village named Farshire. I have taken a room at the inn there. Meet me there as soon as you can. Dr. Tavington. Right, so Dr. Tavington's headed off to a village, which is cool. So let me grab a load of torches, as it's getting rather dark on the road ahead. Uh, but we should be okay. So he's gone to a place called, was it Farshire? 
So this must be the gigantic wall he was talking about. It is pretty big, actually. Look at that. Oh, oh, I'm falling down. Oh, no, more skeletons. Oh, God. Okay, um, uh, come here. Oh, God, I'm going to die. I'm actually going to die. Um, there we go. Oh, my God. Oh, run away. Oh, God, I'm going to die. This is going to be so much fail. No, I'm cool. I'm good. Right, there's a zombie there. Um, I don't have any food either to heal me, do I? This is the problem with new adventure maps. This is is that a skeleton by the entrance? No, that's a zombie as well. Right, I can probably run around this zombie. Oh, oh god, oh god. He's got his like, sights set on me. Uh, just run, run, run! Go, 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 go. We're good, we're alright. As long as there's no skeletons in the town. Oh god, oh god, I'm cringing so much. Here we go, high far shire. <laughs> Closest building. In we go, got it. Oh. Whew, we're good, right, okay. What's in here? I don't know which one's the inn. We were supposed to meet him at the inn, weren't we? What about if I go to sleep? Um, here we go. There's no way skeletons or spiders or anything like that can get in here, is there? No. Can I make myself a few bookcases? I can't remember how they're made. I assume it was... No, it's not that. Okay. My memory of crafting recipes is clearly uh, damaged. Right, let's try to sleep here. We'll go find him in the morning. Aha! There we go. Daytime. So, hopefully, we should be able to roam around Farshire now without any problems. Here we go. Let's have a little wander into this building. Broken pictures, as always. Uh, what do we have up here? Oh, that's just linking between the two of them. Is this an inn, then? Because it has a lot of rooms, like, connected to each other. Um, what have we got? Slash and Bash Armory. I like that name. That's good. I like that. Uh, golden armor sold out. Iron armor. Oh, get in. There we go. Do I, I don't need all the pieces for now, do I? Or should I take them as backup? I can just leave them in my inventory, can't I? There we go. If I pop those on. I'm hoping that they've got some kind of, like, carvery here. Or maybe even just, like, a little grocery store. So I can go grab a bit of food. Because my uh, my food meat is getting about half low. Stone weapons. A bow. Mm, okay, I'll, I'll take one wooden sword as a backup. There's leather armor there. Why would I ever want that? Why? Why in the woods? Oh, what? Diamond armor sold out. Okay. Never mind. Nope, nothing up there. Brilliant. Let's have a little wander down here. Right, let's go find the grocery store. I'm properly feeling a bit of pork chop right now. Could really do with some of that. Uh, what's this? Pastry shop, eh? <laughs> Pastry shop, eh? Oh, cake. Oh, no, 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 no. There we go. Full health. Uh, have they got anything in chests or anything? Ah, oh, cookies! And I got a cake as well. We're good. Right. So I should slowly start healing now. Farshire Butchery. Brilliant. Oh my god, more pork chops than I can ever imagine. Ah, They all stack as well. I'm going to take about half of them. The only problem is... Oh, oh my god, I have coal. Right. Tell you what, I'm going to go investigate the town. I will leave those cooking, which is good. Wool and Dye Shop A. Okay. Oh, very colourful store. <gasps> Lapis Lazuli! I can stop playing this map now. Once you've found Lapis, you've completed any map. Oh yeah, I should decorate this for him. Um, here you go. The wool shop A is now fully decorated. I'll take this so I can make some torches, which is good. Anything around here? Oh, yeah. It looks like a cannon in this texture pack, but never mind. We've got eggs and bread, and oh my god, this is amazing. Although I do feel like I'm being a bit spoiled here. Right, we've got those shovel, bucket, shears, fishing rod, painting. What else we got? Bucket of milk, mushroom stew. Oh my god, I'm so kitted out. Um, what else do we have here? Anything in this building? No, doesn't appear that way. Um, I go upstairs. Anything up here? I need to go find the inn still. Does anyone know where the inn is? Um, let's have a little. Actually, this might be a bridge. Or maybe it's just a balcony. Oh, ah, okay. Right, there we go. Hopefully, I won't take too much damage falling down there. There we go. Uh, where is. Oh, that's a different place to go to. Huh. Is this some kind of watchtower? The granary. Fantastic. Lots of wheat. Lots of those. If only I was playing in 1.9, I could bring all the sheep with me as, like, added protection. That'd be awesome. Uh, what's this? Mysterio's Odds and Ends. Right. Okay, what we got in here? Oh, God, there is all sorts in there. We've got string, glowstone dust, redstone. I might take the redstone just in case... I need to finish any puzzles later on, and um, <laughs> and I don't manage to find all the pieces of redstone. Got plenty of clay, plenty of bricks. Actually, I might take those with me because I can make a load of a um, a load of clay blocks in case I get stuck down a hole. 
There we go. Pick up all of those. God, this town is huge. Uh, anything else lying around? Ink sacks, randomly. Paper. No. We still not found the inn. Let's go find the inn. Um, let's have a little wander about. Tell you what, if I stand up on this little thing here, let's have a little wander about. There we go. Look at that. Um, what's that over there? Is that the inn? Aha! Farshire Inn. Fantastic. Nobody manning the desk. Very poor service. Um, these are all empty notes and seats. Do I go into here? Oh god, this is going to take forever to find a room. Huh? What? Am I missing a wall here? What's going on? Where is Dr. Tavington stayed? Where are you, Dr. Tavington? He better still be here. You know if he's ran off again, this is going to be a complete cat and mouse chase. Uh, where is he? Did he say he went upstairs, maybe? No, still can't see anything there. Anything? Oh, steady! Let me pick that up. There we go. Nope, not in here. Where the hell has he stayed? Let me go down here a little bit. Okay, let's go investigate the other rooms. Uh, oh, there we go. I don't even know if these are completely different houses or not. Alleyway books. No, this, oh, God. Where am I going? Like, it's as if I'm in Diagon Alley. I'll just be popping over to Gringotts in a minute to put a couple of gold in the bank. Where are we looking? Oh, there's, there's his room. I'll tell you what. This is very splinter cell. There we go. Right. Read note four. Okay, I will do. Friend, I apologize for leaving you behind yet again, but I have a good reason for leaving this time. Upon arriving in Farshire, I found it to be quite deserted, except for the occasional citizen quickly scurrying into their homes. As I entered the inn, the innkeeper was quickly packing supplies about to close. When I queried him regarding the rather gloomy mood of the town, he muttered something about the strange weather. Surely you've seen it by now. The ocean is frozen, as is the desert outside the wall and much of the town. He told me there might be someone in the tavern across town who could answer my questions before he gave me a key to an upstairs room telling me it was on the house. Then he quickly left. It made me rather nervous, but as you know, I don't back down from a mystery. I went to the tavern the innkeeper spoke of and found a shady individual in the corner. I approached him and he finally opened up after I bought him a drink. He told me nobody knew the cause of the weather, but many thought it was a shadowy figure that had been seen lurking in the area. He then told me there was an ancient tree nearby, older than the walls, he said, that had been hollowed out. There lived the Grand Druid, who was very wise, and may have the answers I seek. After buying him yet another drink, he told me that the door to this druid's dwelling was locked, and that both the keys and the directions to the tree had been hidden somewhere in the sewers of Farshire. I bought supplies from a few vendors that were left, and ventured into the sewers to find the keys. In order to keep the timeline intact, I made copies of the keys and a map I found there, and returned them to their original places. As I left the sewers, however, the levers that opened the door then crumbled into dust. Perhaps it would be best, friend, if you return through the wormhole. If you are determined to follow me, however, I would suggest looking in the mines outside of town for a lever to open the sewer and retrieve the copies I made. I must go! Now! Something seems strange about this place, and it's not just the weather. Little is recognisable here, and nothing seems to match the history books. I must speak to this druid to answer the questions I have about this peculiar weather, and when exactly we are. To Tavington. Right, okay, so he's been on a bit of an adventure, hasn't he? And I just noticed while I was reading that note that all these rooms over here have got cobwebs in, so I definitely want to go check those out. Uh, and I could probably get string to make another bow just in case. Uh, I need to remember to get all the pork chops out of the little, uh, the hoven. Here we go. 19 pork chops, that'll do. And where am I supposed to be going to find these mines? Now, I'm assuming that to get to those rooms with the cobwebs, I maybe have to find a room that is upstairs here uh no that's just too close right i have to go further backwards uh there we go this way it was sort of around this back end here up there somewhere oh there we go what the hell what is that oh my have i found a secret oh i found a secret Doo -doo 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 -doo. welcome to the deluxe treasure room congratulations Oh, diamond chest plate!